all the feminists who just found my page, hello. My name is Chad, owner of Defund Simping, and I'm about to school you bitches. Listen, ladies, just admit it. You don't like it when you can't manipulate men. So when they come to my page and they learn all their knowledge, you can't manipulate them anymore. For example, that guy in your friend zone, you know he wants to sleep with you, but you keep him around for your own self-validation. Doesn't that sound kind of manipulative? Oh, I'm not done. Or that guy you keep letting take you out on dinner dates, but you never sleep with him? Yeah, you know he wants you romantically, but you just want a free dinner. That sounds uh, manipulative. The fact that I'm teaching men and putting men up on game to stop bitches like you pisses you off. And guess what? I want all the smoke. Let's go, kings. All the feminists who just found my page, hello. My name is Chad, owner of Defund. What in the patriarchal pole pimping do we have here? It's almost like you think women are sexual objects that should always be submissive to men's desires, especially if they know what we want. It's massaging this macking you call yourself doing right here. It's coming off real suspect talking about some DM me to book one on one call. One can imply that you heterosexual, but the way you making these videos to appeal to men by bashing women to come off as simping to say the least. I know you was trying to be a little humorous, but you calling women manipulative bitches for not wanting to sleep with dudes they put in the friend zone, it just don't sit right with me. And it's definitely like some textbook violent shit. How you gonna defund simping with more simping? You call yourself local light skin. You rocking bangs, not the bangs. And your real name is Chad, folks. Meg Thee Stallion told me to tell your homeboys that if they ain't got the cat by now, they lame if they still waiting. Go on about your business. She don't want you, bro. The fact that I'm teaching men and putting men up on game to stop bitches like you. Is it the fact that he thinks he's being creative with men explaining away how feminism is just manipulation of men? Or the fact that he believes he's giving some great sound advice to dudes to do what? This man really said that women are manipulative and seeking self-validation when they take meals from dudes they don't want to get none to. Then there's so much cap in his rap, it's almost like he's purposely being facetious. Because if he's really concerned with manipulation, he'll be more concerned with dudes that manipulate women to sleep with them through self-validation and not this old fake reality, this fake problem he didn't conserve of dudes being manipulated because women are seeking self-validation to get free meals. Like, cut it out. Reverse sexism. This was a real cute, light-skinned way of accusing women of reverse sexism, which doesn't exist. Who's really being manipulative here? The woman that's being straightforward and putting the dude in the friend zone or the dude that's trying to manipulate his way out of the friend zone to get him some? Which one? Somebody need therapy.